up guys, Wavy Films here, and today I have part two of my Ben 10 figure showcase. You guys really seem to enjoy the first one seeing it has it has over one million views and it got me from a couple hundred subscribers to a couple thousand, which is honestly so crazy. Thank you guys so much. But anyway, today I have eight figures from the original Ben 10 series and from Ben 10 Alien Force. Some have been done for over a year. I brought them to Brick Fair last year. I showed them in the last video when I said I was gonna have a second part. Others like Ben Big Chill have been done for a couple months. Um, after originally finishing the original 10, I wanted to make the rest of the aliens from the OG series, which is when I made uh, Cannibal, Bl Blitzwolfer, and Ditto. But then I wanted to start on some Alien Force figures, since it was my favorite Ben 10 series, and it's the one that I saw first that got me into the, uh, the series. So that's when I ended up making uh, Ben, Albedo, and Big Chill. And Alien X is probably the oldest out of all these figures. He was made for a trade, which never actually ended up going through, but I still have the figure. Anyway, guys, I really hope you're excited to see these figures. Um, I really hope this video does as well as the first one. I really don't think it will, but... Without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off is Ben himself. After the last showcase, many people kept suggesting I make a Ben figure. And while I assume that meant the OG one, because that's what the original video was, I ended up making Ben from Alien Force, because like I said, it was the first one that I actually saw, and uh, it got me into the series. Plus, he was like this for most of the time. He was only Ben for Ben 10 for one series. He was like this for Ben 10 Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. And then we don't talk about Omniverse. But, um, like I said, I really prefer the Alien Force version, and I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. Um, so, the torso, basic black torso with painted skin tone on it. I made an E-tape jacket out of green E-tape. Um, he's really simple. He's got, like, a simple painted shoes, and then simple painted hairpiece, and the hairpiece was obviously Gordon's from the Lego Batman movie. Uh, the Probably my favorite part of this figure is either the eyes or the Omnitrix. The eyes, just because I'm not really used to painted this, painting this animated style of eyes, and I actually really like how it turned out, and this was my first attempt too. Um, like I said, I really like how it turned out. At uh, first I was just going to use regular normal eyes, but it just didn't look right, so I ended up using painted the animated eyes, and I really like how it looked at, turned out. Um, and then also, I really like the Omnitrix, which was just made from a couple pieces of E-tape, wrap, one wrapped around the wrist, and then one glued on top. And honestly, for something as the Omnitrix, I thought it would be a little more complicated to make, but considering how simple it was, it's just a thin piece of E-tape, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, he's a pretty simple, but probably one of my favorites. He's even on the front of my new business cards now, so, you know, he's pretty cool. And that's about it for this figure, and now we'll move on to the next one. As you can imagine, Albedo is almost the exact same figure as Ben, just with different colors. Like I said, ready tape jacket instead of green, painted stripes, basic painted shoes, um, painted animated style head. The only difference is the hairpiece, and that is because I didn't actually have a second uh, Commissioner Gordon hairpiece to use for Albedo, and this was a hairpiece I was planning on using for Ben in the first place before I discovered the Gordon one, so I ended up using it for Albedo. Just like Ben, the Omnitrix is a couple pieces of E-tape, if, okay, the hand doesn't want to move, but that's okay. It's a couple pieces of E-tape, um, and yeah, that's about it. If I'm being honest, probably not one of my, uh, best, but he looks nice along with Ben, and I really did like his character in the series. So yeah guys, that's it for Albedo, and now we'll move on to Cannon Bolt. Starting with the OG Ben 10 figs, I finished Cannon Bolt first, and as you can see, he's bigger than a normal figure, and that's because I used a flashlight figure as a base. So what I ended up doing was cutting off the head and shortening the legs. Shortening the legs was one of the more challenging things I've had to do as a customizer for a flashlight fig. I basically had to cut out the feet, take them off, then there were wires, because that's where the flashlights were. Had to cut out the flashlights, um, cut out the wires, break the bulbs that were in there. Then I had to sand and shorten the legs, glue the feet back onto the legs, and then sculpt them. And I'm actually super happy with how they turned out, because it's pretty seamless. Uh, but yeah, that was that was quite the challenge. Um, I was Originally I was going to just use shortened minifigure legs and a Spongebob piece on top. Um, but then I didn't, I hadn't seen the show in a while, so then when I saw how big Cannon Bolt was, he's about the same size as a human, I was like, yeah, a flashlight figure is going to have to do, and it's honestly in perfect scale. Um, so yeah, that was pretty difficult to do, um, and then obviously the top of his head here, the rounded part, the shoulder pads per se, the arm pads, and the little nubs on the side of his feet were all sculpted out of Procreate. 
to be f honest, I don't know if I was using Procreate or green stuff at this point, but it was one of the two. And that's about it for this figure. Um, I'm actually really happy with how he turned out. Um, but yeah, that's about it for Cannon Bolt. Ditto is probably the simplest Ben 10 figure I've made yet. Um, the majority of the work went into sculpting these three pointy things on his head. The rest is all painted um, on the front and the back. Just some really quick designs. Like I said, really not at all that hard to do. And um, yeah, I do like how he turned out. I'm really happy with how the face turned out because I had to try a couple times to get the face to look right. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Ditto. <laughs> so Ben Wolf or Blitzwolf, or as he was renamed, was my final OG Benton alien fig, and he did take a lot of time to do. Uh, um, the head is the Chima Wolf head, which I ended up actually sculpting over the eyes and the neck to make it look more like a headpiece than a mask. Um, I also cut off and resculpted the ears. Um, I also sculpted his giant ass ponytail thing on the back of his head, which I think in the show is more like his back, like he has like a hunchback, but I just ended up adding it to the headpiece. Uh, the torso was widened and sculpted onto, so it's wider at the top, so I just cut off the sides of a Lego torso, glued them on so that the top was wider, and then sculpted in the gaps there to make it rounded. Um, uh, the hips were actually extended with a 2x1 tile, so if we take off the torso here, this is actually part of the legs. And his torso doesn't actually connect that well, obviously, because there's not much to connect to, so it kind of falls off sometimes. Um, <clears throat> and the legs are these weird alien legs. I've used them on Wild Mutt, and I use them on Accelerate, and I first saw it used by the Moose Fig, so I'll leave a link to his stuff down in the description. Don't really know what to call them, but, but uh, they're made by a couple 2x1s two by, two by and 1x1 one one tiles. And yeah, um, on the arms I sculpted muscles and his little spiky things on his elbows, and I don't actually think I painted these because I use Procreate. So I think this is just a natural procreate gray on them. I never ended up painting or sanding them or anything. So that's that's an interesting fact about this figure. And the tail is from one of those Rocket Raccoon pieces. And I always wanted to put it in the middle because this probably triggers a lot of your OCDs. But it wouldn't fit because of the sculpted thing. So I had to glue it off to the side for his tail. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for the OG figures. Um, now let's move on to the Alien Force figures. See exactly what I mean by it doesn't connect that well. So first up is Alien X, who is the first figure out of all of these that I finished. Um, he's really simple since I had to make him for a trade that never went through. But that's okay because um, I was going to remake him for myself later. And I was really happy with how this figure turned out. So I'm kind of happy I get to keep him now. Um, he's kind of simple. I just sculpted the horns and painted the white outlines. Since in the show he always seems to have white outlines. But obviously moving that into a 3D object is kind of hard. So I just kind of outlined his legs, or in the front of his torso, and then just put one on his arms. I didn't do much on the head, actually, just because I didn't... I tried, and the head looked a bit weird, because it's rounded. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I really love how the stars on the torso and the legs turned out. Just painting different size dots, really. But, I don't know, just something about them, and the size, and the... I don't know, the patterns that they're in. Just really intrigues me. He's probably... My favorite alien out of all the series, so I'm really happy that I have a figure of him. And, yeah, uh, I mean, he kind of is a shit character, but he looks cool, so that's kind of why he's my favorite. Um, but with that being said, let's move on to the last figure, Big Joe. I found this figure to be quite simple, which was why I was actually able to finish him in a couple days, and I didn't even put a lot of effort into him. I just, every day before school, I painted a little thing, and then just when I came home, I didn't really work on him at all. But, yeah, uh... I'm really happy with this one since it, out of all of them to me it looks most like his cartoon counterpart like I know likeness is something I say when painting a human face but I think the likeness on this to the cartoon character is really good like to me he just looks the most like right out of the cartoon um, and with the clean lines and like the crisp edges and everything like it just looks very cartoonish um, so this is actually the first figure where I sculpted the Omnitrix logo onto, as you can see. And I'm going to start doing that for future figures. I have that on my Jet Ray Whip, whip right now, which I don't know when he's going to get finished. Don't ask, please. Um, and the wings and spine, this uh, spine part that turns into his hood, are made out of card. Um, and I love, I actually really, really, really love the paintwork on the back of the wings with the light blue and black spots. I don't know why. This one in particular, just it looks so satisfying to me. 
that's probably just me, and probably just because it's my figure, but hopefully you guys feel the same. Um, but yeah, that's about it for Big Chill. If you want to see how big his wings are, actually, I can zoom out a bit, so you can see his wingspan. No, it, they don't fold into his, like, robes or whatever. I guess if I did that, they kind of do, but I don't actually want to bend the paper that much, so... Uh, maybe in the future I'll make an alternate version with cloaks and maybe with fabric. I don't know. We'll see. But with that being said, guys, let's wrap up the showcase. So that's going to be it for the showcase, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. I release new videos every Wednesday and Friday, so stick around for those. And be sure to follow me on all my social media down below where I get around to posting these figures way before I post them here. Also be sure to click on the top box if you want to watch my playlist of custom LEGO showcases or the bottom box to watch my most recent video. So yeah, that's it for now guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.